Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Wanted to do a quick video of um, kind of following up on the Avgas video that I did for your chainsaws. I've done a little research on, um, they call it Mo, Mo Gas, the normal fuel that you get at your gas stations here, here in the United States, other than Alaska and a few of the local areas, I guess, you can find ethanol fr free fuel, but it's really hard to do so. So, what did I do? What I did was I made my own um, ethanol free fuel. Um, if you look right here, you can tell there is a distinct layer of water and ethanol. And the way you do that is very simple is you take your gas. Um, this one I put it in in a glass container. I'm trying something a little bit different this time. See if we can fit a cup in there because if we can fit a cup, let's see, look how it gets all cloudy. Ooh, nice. Okay. Right away, it separates, but it gets really cloudy. And we'll make that even more cloudy. So I put in one cup in there, eight ounces, in about a gallon. Give it a good shake. Let that get all mixed up in there. And what that does is the ethanol, it's a grain alcohol made from um, corn and other grain type. It is hydrophilic. So it loves Philadelphia. It loves to bind with water. My issue with this one is I want to pour that off or pour off the good stuff. So I thought why don't I just make a container? So I have this 11 ths inch hole punch. I'm going to punch a hole in there, get a fuel line, put the fuel line through, and it might fit through, yeah, without my pliers. Hopefully that won't leak. the opposite way hopefully it'll it'll make a good sealed take it almost to the end that way when it all settles we can turn it upside down but till then I'm just gonna pinch it off put a rubber band on there I guess a closed pin would have worked. Okay, now let's... Moment of truth. And I think that'll work. So it'll take a day or two, at least 12 hours for all that ethanol to bind with the water and as it does so you can leave it hung upside down and it'll drain to the bottom and then once it all settles out and it's nice and clear like that you can just drain it out with that and get the majority of it if not 99.9% .9 out so there you are if you have any questions on how to remove ethanol some people say it'll lower the octane, so I did get some octane booster, and I'll research that a little bit, maybe add some octane booster to it after I take off the water and the ethanol. Uh, but till then, I hope you enjoy my videos. Like and subscribe, tell me what you think. Uh, go ahead and send me your hate mail my way. I always love and enjoy receiving that, and um, have a wonderful day. Adios.